What's going on guys and welcome to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency and I'm also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery where I teach you guys how to start your own social media marketing agency, build it, automate it, scale it and then live life on your own terms. And today I want to talk about objection handling. So what I mean by that is if you get a negative answer from a potential client that means that he does not want to work with you and um, i get a question like i get so many questions about this you know how to handle objections what do i do you know when i get an objection but also from people that um immediately cut off as soon as you get an objection so um i was speaking to a girl the other day that was doing outreach through facebook um, she basically used uh, my script from the how to get e-commerce clients video and uh, she was reaching out to potential businesses on Facebook and she said the only reply that she got was um, we already have someone that is doing it or uh, we are not interested and I told her like you know the, the only answer or reply that is a bad reply is no reply at all okay as soon as you get a reply you know they are more interested in working together with you than when they just flat out ignore you okay if they ignore you and you know you follow up with them and this you know they're, they're literally not giving you the time of day then okay you know after a certain amount of messages um you can basically you know give up on that client and move on to the next one but if they at least give you the you know at least have the decency to reply to you you know at least then you've still got an in okay the door is not fully shut it's still open you know there's still a way in you can still get your foot in the door if you play your cards right okay so if people say to you if you're reaching out through facebook through linkedin through instagram through, through email it does not matter even if it's through cold calling if they say to you we've already got someone then all you need to do that that is basically an objection that um, basically either whoever's doing it now they trust more or is getting them better results or like I said you know they just don't trust you at all so all you need to do is see that objection and handle it you know overcome it so it's basically a hurdle you need to jump over to basically earn their trust and earn their business okay that is all it is if you get an objection all you need to do is handle it and move on to the next one and then you keep handling their objections until you've like i said you've earned their business okay so if you get an objection if someone says to you you know like um if they if they come up with a reason why you guys can't work together then don't see that as you've immediately lost or you've failed um you know it, you've only basically failed if after so many times the client still hasn't replied and then you know you move on to the next one then you can see that client as not a right fit for you okay it's not even a failure when you think about it it's just not a right fit for that moment in time um one of my earliest business mentors uh, basically you know explained this to me in the form of um, an apple basket so what he said is you've got a basket full of apples and some apples are rotten and all you need to do is pick them out you know realize that they're rotten okay so they have the awareness that it's a rotten apple it's not a right fit for you and then throw it out okay then you've got apples that are uh you know that there's, there's still small apples and these are not ripe yet okay so they're not ripe to actually eat or to use or to cut or whatever okay these are apples that you put back into the basket and these are potential leads that you know aren't yet qualified enough to work with you okay so these are people that you have in the pipeline these are people that you've reached out to but haven't actually replied back okay and then you've got your third type of apple and that's an apple that you know is a right fit it's a qualified lead and someone that has replied to you and someone that you can actually you know start trying to onboard or trying to get as a client okay and as soon as i understood that concept it was much easier for me to you know realize that it's not me it's not my fault it's just that we're not a right fit and then when you when you when you go into sales and when you go into objection handling with that frame in mind you know it's it's much much easier to not get um you know discouraged etc okay so like i said when you get the objection uh, we are already working with someone just bounce back with another question okay and just ask them okay well is this person qualified or is this person consistently getting you a return investment month after month is this person um, a specialist in social media marketing and then just see what they say you know if, if they say yes you know this guy is an agency blah blah then you know you can 
maybe if you've done your due, dil due diligence, you can then say, okay, well, um, I sort of already figured that, you know, um, I, I saw that you have the Facebook pixel installed and content wise, you see, you know, it seems like you guys are doing a good job. But what I did notice was this, this, and this, and then you can mention something about the ads or something that you think that you can do better, okay? Because guys, at the end of the day, you know, as social media marketers, it is our responsibility to help these businesses grow and help these businesses get more leads and more sales. And if you wholeheartedly believe that you can do a better job than whoever is doing it for them, you know, at the moment, then, you know, basically you are obligated to try and get them, try and end their business because you know that you can do a better job. Okay, so that is one of the most common objections is, oh, we already have someone. Then just fire back, guys. Just say, okay, well, you know, um, I sort of figured that, you know, never sort of go on defense right away, you know, agree with them to a certain extent, say, okay, you know, I understand, or, you know, I sort of already figured that because, you know, I saw that, um, to a certain extent, you guys are doing a good job, but blah, 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 and then ask them the question again, you know, is this something that your social media marketer is handling? And then just see what they say, okay? Always follow up with another question. Okay, guys, so another very common objection. Uh, not so m much now, it used to be a very big objection. Now people are sort of slowly catching on to the fact that um, you know, Facebook ads really do work. Uh, but especially when I was starting out, one of the most common objections that I got was Facebook ads don't work, okay? And a very easy way to sort of overcome that objection is by asking them, okay, well, what is your experience with Facebook ads? And, you know, did you have a specialized person running the ads for you? And then almost every single time, if someone says that objection, then they'll come up with some answer like, um, oh no, we had an intern boosting some posts and in the end we ended up throwing away a couple hundred dollars or pounds and we didn't actually get much from you know back from it and then you can come back again and say okay well um you know i'm sorry to hear that i understand that um, a lot of people think that they can do social media nowadays but um you know it's not something that you can just learn overnight and then you know you go into your qualifications and then you mention that the way you would do it rather than boosting posts you would you know and then depending on the niche or industry you'll give them um, some advice on basically what to do and not how to do it, okay? Because, um, you know, we've, we've discussed this a couple of times in the free lifestyle design community. If you give them too much information, then they'll think that they can do, go out and do it themselves. And basically, you want to spark the idea in their mind of what is possible, what they can do, but not how to do it. Okay, guys, and another very, very common one is, okay, well, how quickly can I earn my money back? Or what is the return on investment? And this was one that I really struggled with at the start because... Uh, to be honest, at the start, I wasn't very, very confident in my Facebook ad skills. Um, I was just hoping that I could earn the business and, you know, you know, over time, try and get them a return or try and get them some kind of results that I can build on to sort of prolong that, um, you know, relationship or working together. And basically what I say to them now is, well, what, you know, if, if the question is, what is the return on investment? I just ask them, well, you know, what do you want it to be? And it's something that they don't expect you to say because in a way it's cocky and it is a bit, you know, aggressive. But um, they will then, first of all, they'll probably start to stutter. They'll say, oh, well, um, well, you know, obviously we want it to be as high as possible. And then, you know, you can come back and say, well, you know, keep, please be more specific. You know, what would you like the return investment to be in X amount of time? Okay, and then they'll understand that you're actually serious about it. And then they'll say, okay, well, if we can get at least a 2X return on investment, you know, within the next three months, you know, that would be something that we would be interested in, you know, working together on or something like that. Okay, and then you can come back and say, well, are you willing to work with me to help you get there? And of course, you know, did they, of course they want to get there. So, or, you know, it's very difficult for them in that moment to say, no, you know, we don't want you to help us get there or we don't want you to help us get a 2x return on investment because it's that psychological thing, you know, they want that 2x return on investment and if you can help them get there, you know, that is great, okay? And that's just an easy way of overcoming that objection, okay, guys? And because we're already about eight, nine minutes in, uh, the last thing I always try and do is basically I always try and answer as many questions um, as I possibly can. And then basically what I do at the end, um, there's two ways, again, depending on the type of business. Uh, way number one is say, okay, well guys, you know, um, if you're, if, all, if I've answered all your questions and you're happy to work together, then I'm more than happy to work together. You know, let's just agree upon a price and move forward from there. Okay, that is method number one. Method number two is saying, guys, well, you know, um, have you got any more questions for me? Have I answered all your questions? Yes, okay, well then ha have I earned your business? Okay, and then what, what, what you've basically done there 
is created that situation again where it's very, very awkward and difficult for the client to say no because saying no on the phone or face to face or on a Skype meeting is very, very difficult, especially when you're talking to a salesman, which, um, you know, and again, a salesman sounds very sleazy, but like I said, guys, you know, because we can do it, because we know we can get them best results, you know, it's, we are basically obligated to help these guys and to actually close a deal because we know we can earn them more money in the long run. Okay, and that's the way you need to see it, and that's the way you need to think about it. But guys, those two um, basically end um, questions is just a very good way of basically wrapping the deal up, closing the deal, and then getting you know, um, a yes to move forward from there, okay? So I hope you got something out of this. I basically just scratched the surface here in terms of objection handling. Um, for those of you that are in the course, I you're watching this as well, um, you see people having uh, questions in the comments, you know, please feel free to reply to those comments and help them out. For those of you that are uh, not in the course and you guys are serious about starting your own know, social media marketing agency, I have got a free training. It's about 90 minutes long where I show you guys you know, how to start your own social media marketing agency without prior investments or experience, without having any, you know, tech skills or coding skills or anything like that you'll basically get everything you need in that training first link is in the description box down below subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one